Hi guys and welcome to part 4. First of all I want to thanks my 100 subs so I really want to thanks all those guys for following me and uh, now I've got 100 subscribers and I hope that I'm going to grow even more in the future. So let's see what we got here to do. First of all, one split line that is going to help this surface fill to be made. Of course, mirror of these surfaces and one loft. It's gonna take some time and of course, knitting in the end. And that's gonna be our job for today. Let's go! So let me draw one sketch on the right plane. It's only one line that goes something like this. It's a vertical and it's coincident with the origin. Make sure it goes way go way above the model end and also uh, in the bottom. <coughs> now split line and split this face and this face. Okay, next thing is surface fill. So choose fill surface and select this edge, this edge, this one, and and these two. Okay, now as you can see, it's almost perfect, but uh, make sure it's selected the fix up boundary and apply to all edges also should be selected but we need to change the edge settings to curvature so you can see it's a lot different right now and that's it now we can do a mirror a body mirror not a filler not a feature mirror the front plane, that's it, and let's see how that it looks like. Pretty decent, I think. I was struggling, struggling a lot to make it so, so perfect, and it's not perfect at all. Okay, next thing is sketch on the front plane. So we go one line like this and this point and this point are vertical it goes like two and the line is three now one uh, tangent arc from this point to this edge here and it's a seven from this edge Okay, and for the end of the sketch, we need one uh, curve by two points. So I'll draw it like this and make sure that these two points are coincident. Okay, drag this one. And this one is horizontal. And this one is vertical. Okay. And this and so this is 100 and here is 160. Sketch it done. Now we need one sketch on this plane, plane 2. So draw one center line and make it vertical. And it's 150 and from the other 75 and then draw one arc by three points like this and that arc is tangent with this edge or better concentric no it can't be let's try Radio. No, it's not. Engine. Come on, something. Okay, engine. 
angels and the radius is 150. Yes, that's what we need. That's perfect. Exit the sketch and we also now need one plane. I will to rest on the geometry plane and select this arc from the previous sketch and select this point as a second second reference and we got the plane. And we also need to draw something similar in our previous sketch. So center line it's uh hmm, let's hide this plane and select this point, I hope you can see well this point of the sketch and this in the center line and make it midpoint. Okay, and we go 150 and mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> so one arc by three points and these points are vertical and these two also are vertical and extension to the center line and the radius is 700 feet so you should get something like this and let's get and let's do a loft so, not safe, profile, this is not profile, this is the second one, and guide here in this one. So now, what we also have to do is start, start and constraint. It's normal to profile, and normal to profile. Nothing else, that's it. And what we got left to do, we can find this one right now. And go to mid surface and knit together these three. That's it. And show the loft. And we are done for today. Thanks for watching. See ya.